Welcome back everyone, so today I'm going to, sh to configure with you the authentication with Zabbix server if you have your Active Directory and you have users in your Active Directory and you want to import it to your Zabbix uh, web interface Zabbix server so let's see how it configure so at the beginning we have your our uh, domain controller Windows domain controller so I'm going to Active Directory and user and computer here I'm going to make a new user for example I will give it like admin here as well admin and make sure this is make sure this one and type your strong password here So you created already here. <coughs> Let's test it. It work or not? Yes, it works. So let's see here. No interface. Go for the administration, authentication. This is the internal, which is like the password, the end up. It's here. <coughs> I've set it up before, but uh, I will set it up with you again. So here it's held up. It's the same what we did the command here. Here, this one. Held up. I'm gonna copy it. And and here, yes. And here the port is the same. So DC office DC LAN. So from where I will get this information? If you set up your domain controller, or you don't have information about your domain controller, if you don't have the information, it's here keyless. Here, which is like office dot LAN, is the same here. So the search art attribute, it's some account name. And here <coughs> your bend, which is like the, the search, and I will give, change the password here. Give it the the domain controller password here, and here as well the domain control. Make sure you put the same password here and here for the Active Directory. So it's here the same password. I'm gonna test it. Yes, put the same password again here and here. Update, yes, and it's updated. So let's test it. I have my admin here. This is the password, the old password, which is <coughs> whatever you want, whatever you had it before. So it will. You will not log in, so put your active directory password and here. This is uh, the attempted field, which is like the old password. <coughs> so, how to import users? So, I'm going to test it with you guys. Now, I'm creating a new user, which I will call it a test. Here, a test. Make sure this as well. And I'm going to give the password here. Here the password. And you create it. Make sure that you already create the same user here as well. So I'm going to create a test. Which is a test as well here. And the password. You cannot set up because it, you change it for the LDAP. And I'm going if you're trusting the people. If you want to make it as a guest, um, it's not a problem. So here is Zabbix user, Zabbix super admin. So I'm going to give it as a Zabbix admin. Add. So you create it here. 
sign out go for the test give it the active directory password and here we go it's really really simple but here this is like <coughs> uh, zabbix admin so it doesn't fit don't have the old permissions so I'm going back to show you this is a what you have it's a problem is the for Zavix it's not creating the users automatically so you have to create your user just to create your user give the permissions and it will set up the password automatically it will give the password automatically from the ELDA so it's not a problem about this you have your users so it's here so it's it doesn't really really matter so um, I hope this video going to be helpful for you guys uh, if you have some issues with the uh, ILDAP search just comment uh, send me message and thank you everyone for this